What's up everybody? My name is SK and welcome back to my channel. And this is the part 2 of how to create a better silhouette for your animation. I've created a reference plate and I'm using this Naruto rig to do the blogging. First, I'm going to move this reference plate closer to my Naruto rig. Then I put it in. Okay, I usually put it in a plate like this. Wow. Put it behind so I can animate this accordingly. This is the picker. I'll select every controller and I'll keyframe it. Now I will try to do this. Okay, I'll actually create a box first. And create a ground maybe. Okay, so this is the ground and this is the box. Let's try to make it quite similar to what we have. Snap it to the ground. For the hand, since it's IK all the way, so maybe I'll use IK. For some of the rig, inside the hand controller, you'll find some individual attribute that sometimes makes your life easier. Like there's a fist control over here, and you can use that to create a basic fist shape. And now I'm trying to create a neutral handshape, a bit more like a relaxed kind. So I'll try to create a C curve like this. Put it a bit like a relaxing mode. So maybe this finger spread out a bit. Let's put the hand beside the body. Let's also get the basic hand shape of the other hand. Put it down beside the body first. Then let's move on to create the basic hand shape. Using the fist attribute first, then slowly touch up using the finger individual controller. And make the palm curve a bit can see now is straight so I would like it to go a bit curved something like this try bring this up guys it's important to know how to create a good handshape next time I'll create another video 
go to details of how to create a better handshake. For now, what I can tell you is that the finger itself don't line up in a straight line. They curve around each other, they spread out around each other, and you will form something like a C shape. Now I'm trying to create that C shape for this hand too. Here I'm trying to make this finger curve. Okay, the palm. Maybe I can make him more relaxed a bit. Then this finger is spreading out too much, so I have to keep it more stick together. is much better okay, same for this side okay, the hand is sticking up quite a lot Okay, then I'll put it close to each other. Yeah, I'll select these three spine. See the chest. Tree spine. Looking down, and the foot try to spread them out a bit. One foot is nearer to the other. So you have a variation of distance. Since this foot is forward, we will twist the COG, the hip forward here because this left leg is in front so I'll twist this side and for the chest the middle spine I'll select three of them and go the other way okay, 
there's an ugly line over here that I doesn't like so I will actually make them more nicer by doing something like this Remember to touch the shoulder too. When you look at these two hands, you realize that their hand shape is quite similar to each other, which I don't really like it. What I do want is the right hand shape is different from the left hand shape. For the right hand, I will try to create something closer to a fist shape. And for the other hand, I will put it into a more like a relaxed pose. Even the hand position of left and right, I will try to put it like one hand is higher than the other and one hand is lower than the other. I find that the spine over here is twisting very weird. Rather than rotating them individually, I can select all the spine and zero it out over here like this. This way, you can create a default pose and edit it from there is much more faster. Well, it depends on you. Sometimes if you having issue with your rig, you can try to zero it out first and then edit it from the neutral pose can be much more faster like this I will create a camera for this guy Name this camera as my main cam 
or anything up to you. Right then, I'll split my screen. One one I'll use for main cam. Show none. Show polygon. Off the wireframe. And show some texture. This will be my main cam. For the setting, I will choose something like HD. For the opacity, I'll off my opacity and switch on to one. So I won't see any other thing. This will be my main cam. Now I'm looking at my silhouette. And make sure my character in my blogging I can show that this guy is getting ready to pick up this object, pick up this box. Yes, as you can see the finger, try to keep the silhouette nicer. Close this finger a bit. Also this finger. I think something like that is good. Maybe I can bring the pen down so I can show a bit of this arm rather than here we can see none of the upper arm so once I push it down we at least can see a bit of this arm the only problem is quite similar to this direction you can see this line and see this line quite similar I would like to change a bit the other arm push him up a bit Bring up a bit and this bring up a bit. Okay, followed by the last thing, the ring finger. Okay. 
once I set the camera, I can lock it. I want something like this, uh, maybe the leg can push it up some more. looking down you can notice that this and this compared to the poses you can see the difference by looking at the silhouette itself going to switch off the light it still shows some color so to solve this I just need to switch on this so it become black color okay guys I think I will stop here so this is how I usually create my first impression pose I'm sorry if this video is a bit too long for you sometimes I'll create video like this in order to show you how I create my animation from start to the end do let me know down in the comment whether you like the video to be short or long if not I'll see you in my next video take care if you like my video don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new video every week hope to see you guys next time and happy animating